What's up guys, Sir Alien here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a moss or vine material. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to title this uh, <laughs> this video, but I'm probably going to put it just vine material because that's what most people look for. And hopefully this will help you, or even help you make other materials. So, let's just get into the tutorial. Uh, while I'm uh, doing this, I'm probably going to be making references to other things, so uh, sorry about that. Um, let's just go and make another material and then go into color. Also in the description below you can find all these textures that I'm using uh, in, a, in a pack that I made. There's going to be more than I have in this video right now, it's just I decided to make it now. Um, I mean I decided to make this tutorial now and then I'm going to find these textures later. I don't know if anyone caught on to that, but anyway. Um, go into color, load image, and then I'm going to use uh, this one. Um, then, I'm going to, uh, let's not mess with that. I'm going to actually take off the specular, because the specular is actually really annoying. Then I'm going to go down to layer, and then I'm going to image, and then finding set this third one. So I'm going to be using all these materials. I didn't originally plan to, and this one kind of looks bad, but I don't know decided to just use it so as you can see the reason why I'm using it is because it added more into the uh, thing so let's just actually take down this all right okay that looks better it's a little bit too dark for my taste but that can always be changed um, to the next go into the close-up moss and then hit open and this is just adding more effect to everything so just see what we can do. Actually, let's put this in between these two. Oh, I'm done. I'm using the wrong one. Uh, I don't even remember which one I had it on. Let's just keep it on overlay. All right. So we're just gonna put it in that one and then lower its opacity if I can. Put it around. Actually there so using this method I don't think we're gonna need glow but if you want to add glow to it I'll give you those settings um, then we're gonna copy this text actually we're not going to because we're gonna need a different so this placement we're going to want uh, load image then go to the one that has like a rocky boss okay this since I'm gonna add more to this pack this is what this one's called texture X uh, large high def uh, stone wall mo moss growth texture and there's probably more to it um, open no and then now what you want to do is just take down the strength to about 20 and so that will um, kind of eliminate that huge you know thing like that which will take forever to render um, especially if you're using global illumination and this and that and plus also ambient occlusion because um, of all the shadows. So let me just give you the glow real quick. I'm not going to be actually enabling it, but I mean, I might keep it, but anyway. For the radius, I wouldn't go, I would go no higher than five. So I'm just going to do actually four, since that's in the middle. Um, I'd recommend three, four, or five. So if you guys want to take those settings, outer strength, uh, I'm going to do four also. Then inner strength, I would say about. 25 or 20 25 to like 30 Sorry, I had to pause it real quick I had to sneeze really bad <laughs> um, so anyway uh, we're gonna copy this I, I should have did it earlier but then we're gonna use this as the bump so paste the channel then put this to 100% you can go past 100% if you want which all you have to do is just type in the number or just keep going along on this arrow so then just right click, uh, you don't have to do this, but I like doing it because it's the, um, I don't know, because to me it's just cool. Uh, just change the, what's it called, but it, the um, the glow adds more brightness to it. Um, you could add a reflection to it if you want, so go into here, then what I even do? <laughs> um, I hit Fresnel and take it the, these numbers down. I don't know. To me, that just, I don't know. I don't like adding much reflection to a, uh, to a texture type material, if that makes any sense. So, 
basically uh you can add diffusion if you want uh, i'm not going to uh luminance nah i wouldn't add any and then the rest of them are fine um so that's basically how you make one that's how you make the you can ma make many variations but that's just my way of making them and helping people actually make them so Right now, I just have to show you how to use a layer. I don't know if I showed you how to make that in the um, cinem the uh, gel one, which which did really well. Thank you guys for that. Um, it has like 2,000 views. But honestly, this this is how you make the material. <laughs> it's kind of it's really easy, and, and it looks really good on a uh, on a shape. So I'm not going to show you that because it's just going to make this tutorial even longer. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.